Hello Facebook Cups people, I'm Konstantinos and today we're going to talk about cost caps and bit caps. Most likely, if you're here for a long period of time, in this channel you know that I rarely do touch topics like the cost caps and the bit caps. It's very difficult for me to explain them in just one video of 10 minutes, 15 minutes and stuff. Today I'm going to show you one example of a cost cap that has scaled so that I can show you that there's a lot of potential uh, with uh, cost caps and stuff. And the reason that I'm doing this video is also because after the UI changes that happened on the uh, June or July, I'm seeing that the cost caps and the bit caps are working again really well. And this is also another thing that we're using a lot during the Black Friday, as I said, and maybe you need to start doing them. First of all, all of these things are things that you can find inside the course, along with how you're going to work with them on a daily level. It's almost impossible to have videos unless if I want to uh, completely do 1 million videos and show you uh, over here in the YouTube channel how you're going to do it. The combinations and the things that you can do uh, are a lot. If you want to deep dive to it, go to the course, buy the course and you're going to be able to uh, find it there. Cost Cups means that we are using cost per result basically and uh, you're going to do an ABO. Uh, you can do also a CBO. Uh, I have seen it also working but I'm not working necessarily with CBOs, I'm working mostly with ABOs. The reason that I'm using cost caps is because based on the daily loop theory we see cannibalization but when I do a cost cap and it's working I rarely see them cannibalizing each other so it's a safer bet for me to scale something that's working. If it's not going to be able to scale, it's not going to just spend. It's a little bit safer on that side. But for this reason, I cannot consider cost caps or bit caps something that I can actually uh, vouch for or be able to use it as my main strategy in another account because maybe they are going to spend, maybe not. But there are periods like promos or the Black Friday that they are scaling like crazy. And if you're scaling with your mind, from 1k to 2k one campaign, the cost caps are going to help you get the full potential because you can put them on budgets like 5k, 10k, uh, whatever, and they're going to spend whatever they can. So this is where I'm utilizing them mostly. And this is why I keep them in, my, in the whole year into my ad account running there uh, so that I can be able to uh, maintain them and uh, be able uh, to uh, to have them in a, a healthy state until the point that I'm going to use it. Maybe in the Black Friday promo, but maybe also in other promos that uh, the situation is going to be better because the demand is going to uh, actually be higher. Hi guys, I would like to interrupt this video in order to talk to you about my Facebook ads course. It took me six months of video editing everything and three months of video shooting. And because of that, I have created the best Facebook ad course in the world. Inside, you're going to find super advanced information, but information also for beginners. It takes you by the hand in order to teach you how to do Facebook ads from the beginner level to super advanced level. It has inside Loom videos from cost caps, speed caps, Loom videos from CBO, ASC optimization. It has chosen five sessions, inner circle sessions, and it has a lot of theory with whiteboard, also strategies that are working all of these years, things that I have developed Developed, things that I know that they're working because I have spent millions and millions on the platform. Currently, I'm spending between 5 and 10 million every month, sometimes it's even more, across 30 accounts, and I have access to many, many more. So I know what is currently working and all the latest trends, and this is what I'm doing inside the course. I'm showing you live ad accounts with real spend and what is working right now. And if you want, you can click the link below, you can go and you can check some videos that I have open, free for you, so that you can check if you like the course or not and decide if you want to buy it or not. I will see you there. So cost per result means that if you, if you put 50 for example and by the way the best way for you to do it is to actually go and uh, see what is the average cost per purchase that you're getting. If you're getting 50 I would put 45 uh, 50 55 the fact that you're putting 55 it doesn't mean that Meta is going to give you 55 it's how much you're willing to give on this daily auction. Also the way that we are seeing them and we're optimizing them is on a daily level and then seven days to see their actual results but also on a daily level we can see if we can increase or not. Again, go to the course for this deeper stuff. The, the thing about the cost caps is that they're a little bit cra crazy and all over the place and uh, you need to have experience working a lot with them in order to uh, understand them. There are no blueprints and stuff, it's just experience, experience, experience working with them and someone giving you the first principles on how to work with them. So I would do initially three, 
The fact that I'm giving, for example, 55 doesn't mean sometimes you need to go to 58 in order to get you to give you 52 or 51. It's just completely. Uh, it's it's just like you're in a dark room and you try to find the next the next wall in front of you. You're walking. Uh, this is the same thing with cost caps. With cost caps and the cost per result, it's like you're saying, you know. 52, for example, is my cost per result, but give me something around that area. This is how Meta sees it. And there are two factors. First of all, is the bit, bit the cost cap that you are putting, and also the spend, which also shows to Meta that this guy is willing to spend with this bit $500, while the other guy is willing to spend $100, so we will give it to him. So this is how it's working, give or take. And then we have bit caps, which are really strict. If you put 52, it's like you're saying, give me 52 or nothing, okay? Bitcups can also work in certain accounts. I'm working mostly because of this uh, fluctuation that you can have in between other accounts and it's easier for me uh, with cost per result instead of Bitcups, but they have seen super successful Bitcups in uh, several other accounts and working very well for uh, several people. Let's go into my PC. Let me show you one or two cases of campaigns that I uh, have and why I like them and why I'm keeping them until the Black Friday and all of that in order to scale again. And I will see you there. Okay, so we are in this account, 6.4 uh, mil spend in the maximum. The reason that I have the maximum is to show you that in this account, the maximum period, the 1.1 million was spent in the cost cap. So a significant amount has been spent to the uh, cost caps. Let's see a little bit what is happening on the last seven days to take an idea again. On 50k spent total, the 16k is coming from the cost caps. So this is part of my strategy over here with this account. And uh, I want to show you now the power of the cost caps when you are having them established running and then you are, you are going to use them on a Black Friday period or whatever. I want to focus on this one because this one, if we check on the maximum period, the spend that it has is 176k uh, with uh, three ROAS. So super profitable. In the last seven days, it has spent uh, 2k with, I'm trying to maintain it, you know, don't try to ruin it. But I want us to go in the period of the previous Black Friday to understand the impact that the cost caps can have and why you should learn how to do cost caps. Um, I know it's a lot of trouble to understand them and stuff, but that's why we always have the course. Uh, let's go to the previous Black Friday period. If we are here, November. So over here, I'm going to go into this period, which is the period before Black Friday. We have 22K spent out of 134K. So it would have been 100k without it. Okay, and then let's go, let's go on this period basically. If you remember, it was this week, it was the Black Friday week and it was going to, to December 2nd for the Cyber Monday. So, and in this account, we have an extension to Tuesday also. So this is the results that we will check. Over here, we can see that we're spending 93k. The, the asset that I told you has spent the 14k out of all of this, but I was having other uh, cost caps that I was running on this period. Most likely also some of those are Black Friday ads. And um, let's see the impact that the cost caps did to this. Uh, I have spent 388k in total with 7 ROAS on this period. And uh, basically, I would have spent 300k without the cost caps. So the cost caps are helping you to go to the extra mile and to the extra spend that you wouldn't think of your think of your own, that you wouldn't budget properly. You can put crazy budgets to them, and maybe they're not going to spend the budget. For me, it's an extra thing, but a lot of times it helps me scale much more from what I would have gone um, without doing cost caps. That's why I believe that it's important to have them establish assets. Uh, for a long period of time that when you're going to use again and again and again on the next promo. In this Black Friday, I'm going with this kind of uh, cost caps. I have already established some of those. The average results are fine, so I'm going to go with those and I'm going to try to scale all of those during this period. I'm trying to do the best that I can. Uh, let me see this one, which is spending a lot, how much it has spent in the maximum period. Uh, so this one, this one has spent only 11k. 
Okay, so I guess it's going to scale during uh, the Black Friday period right now. Okay, uh, I'm pretty happy with my setup over here. Again, it's just spending over here out of the 50k. We're spending on our cost of, cost of 16k. Uh, and uh, I have already ready assets uh, to be used for uh, hard scaling uh, during Black Friday. I think you should have the same along with my other campaigns. These are evergreen campaigns, by the way, I'm not going to touch them. I'm going to scale only my cost caps and my Black Friday ads. Nothing else here is going to be touched in terms of budget unless uh, I want to increase a little bit here and there. But still, I'm going to focus more on the cost caps and on the Black Friday ads. That's all for cost caps, speed caps. Go check the course uh, if you want to learn them better and do this thing also with your own ad account and I will see you for the closing of the video. So that's why cost caps are really important and that's why I like using them. Again, it's not my main thing on a, a ad account that I'm going to use and just know exactly how much I'm going to spend. It's just my extra thing, which makes total sense on the Black Friday to period to be on the Black Friday period to be a very big extra thing which is actually helping me scale even more on situations that I wouldn't be able to predict how much I can spend especially like now or in other offers during uh, the whole year that's why I'm having it that's why in a lot of other accounts I'm doing my normal campaign and the cost comp campaign on site I'm not afraid of cannibalization uh, I'm not afraid of things like that so I'm going to do it. There's a lot of knowledge behind it and how to do it and how you're going to treat it and stuff. As I said, go to the course and see over there how cost caps are working. I'm having inside explanation videos and I'm having inside also Loom videos with daily optimization on how I optimize, how I test initially the bids, how I find the right bid, how I scale the bid. This is the case with the cost caps. Don't forget that if you want to learn more, you can check, of course, my course for the reasons that I said earlier, but also because it's the best Metal course in the world that has everything inside from beginner stuff to super advanced stuff for everyone there. It's for uh, lead generation, for recom, for everything. Everything is inside the course and I am keep adding videos again and again and again, keeping it super updated all the time and also giving you more videos to watch. So you're buying now your lifetime access uh, with it and you're getting ready for your uh, Black Friday also to do the best that you can. Also, I have my mentorship programs, although right now they're full because of the period. Talk to me. Maybe we'll find a way of working together uh, in uh, the future. And uh, until we meet again, guys, be creative and be consistent.